Knowledge Enhancer Quizzes presents MS Excel Quiz 2. Question number one. Intersection of rows and columns in MS Excel is called dash. A. Cell. B. Row. C. Box. D. None. Option A is the right answer. Question number two. Dash is used to represent address of each cell. A. Name box. B. Copy box. C. Sheet tabs. D. None. Option A is the right answer. Question number three. Active cell is represented by dash. A. Black thick border. B. Blinking border. C. Both. D. None. Option A is the right answer. Question number four. Dash is a tool which we use to display our data graphically. A. Cell. B. Chart. C. Bar. D. None. Option B is the right answer. Question number five. In MS Excel, each formula and function starts with dash. A equals sign. B dollar sign. C at the rate of sign. D percentage sign. Option A is the right answer. Question number six. Which of the following is not an option in the spelling dialog box? A edit. B ignore. C. Ignore all. D. Change. Option A is the right answer. Question number seven. You can quickly change the appearance of your work by choosing auto format from the dash menu. A. Edit. B. View. C. Format. D. Tools. Option C is the right answer. Question number eight. You can edit existing Excel data by pressing the dash. A, F1 key. B, F2 key. C, F3 key. D, F4 key. Option B is the right answer. Question number nine. The cell reference for a range of cells that starts in cell B1 and goes over to column G and down to row 10 is dash. A, G1 hyphen G10, B, B1 dot G10, C, B1 semicolon G10, D, B1 colon G10. Option D is the right answer. Question number 10. A user wishes to remove a spreadsheet from a workbook, which is the correct sequence of events that will do this. A, go to file, save as, save as type Excel worksheet. B. Right-click on the Spreadsheet tab and select Delete. C. Right-click on the Spreadsheet and select Insert, Entire Column. D. None of above. Option B is the right answer. How many of them did you answer correctly? Tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.